Welcome to my channel. Today I will show you how easy it is to create a Kubernetes cluster without any knowledge about it. I will show you the TK tool. It's a multi-cloud, multi-cluster Kubernetes platform installation and integration tool with HR support. It's open source and you can find it on GitHub. For the preparing, you must download the binary file from the release on GitHub or get it over go get and the GitHub URL. Before you can use this tool, you need to prepare some little steps. The first one is create a key pair in AWS. You can find it in EC2 key pairs on the left side in the menu. And you need it every time for every EC2 instance. Then we need to create a config file. We'll show you later the context. To start the creating of the infrastructure, you need some tools. A unit installed on your OS Terraform, Ansible, Python, and PIP. Um, the tool is working on Linux and Mac. Now the first command you need to use is tk cluster init. This command will download Cubesway and install with pip some de other dependencies. The first thing you must do after create a key pair on AWS is to create your own config. You'll find a config example in the GitHub repository and it's filled up with some defaults. You must change your OS you want to use. They are available Ubuntu, CoreOS or CentOS at the moment. Then provide a key, access key for AWS, the secret for AWS, and also the prepared key pair name. The default region you want to use, and then you can decide which size your cluster get. For example, I use one master, one EC, ETCD and one worker. After that, we can create our first cluster. So we go into the shell, or into the terminal, create cluster in it. This will download the Cubespray git repo and will run the Cubespray requirements with pip. If this is done, after a few seconds, you can use the next command pk cluster aws create. You see it will start with Terraform and build your cluster on AWS. What we get on AWS? We get a virtual private cluster with different subnets. One public and one private, for example. And the private subnet are the master, the worker, and the etcd instances. In the public subnet, it's an elastic IP, elastic load balancer, and also a bastion host. So we can access all the private subnet stuff about it. Now we can go into our AWS account. Here's a keeper section created and now we can check if there's some instances running and we see there are five instances two bastions one in availability zone a and b and then our first small cluster in the zone a with a master a worker and an etcd instance the so both bastion instances get a public IP and there's all the load balancer on it. We can see it here. And this is a load balancer. And the next step, you must install Kubernetes self. So you can read a book about uh, how to do the setup of Kubernetes or you can read the book uh, Kubernetes the hard way are you great? Uh, you use this comment. 
cluster, ecate cluster, AWS install. And you will see Ansible is starting and preparing all the needed stuff for the setup. So now we can see after 11 minutes and 18 seconds, the setup is done. Now you have an running Kubernetes cluster installed on your AWS infrastructure. We have created a few minutes ago. Now we can export the cube config and then get the nodes to check it's all running now. Export cube config use for inventory. Done, it's provided. And now we can see nodes. Here's a master and a node. And now we can Try something, for example, I prepared an Nginx example. You can create a deployment with kubectl apply, for example. Do it here for you one time. And deployment is great. You can check it here with kubectl get bots. And you see there are two running Nginx in our cluster now. And after that, we can expose our engine X to get an external access on it. So we kubectl expose deployment engine X deployment, it's our deployment here. And we need to type load balancer and the service name is engine X service. Now we can check it again. And here's now our load balancer. And the external LP is a little bit short or too long to display full, so we can describe our service and then X service. It's a full address and it's here. I can show it in the browser now. I can pass the URL here and then you see welcome to the engine X. It's need some time to get available on about two minutes our cluster is there and running and after that we can clean up our cluster i will now delete the service and deployment and destroy the complete cluster it's easily here now we can yeah delete deployment x deployment and also delete the service. Now you can check if the deployment and service deleted with kubectl bots again, and there are no resources found. After that, we can destroy our AWS infrastructure with cluster AWS destroy. Now you see Terraform is starting again and deleting all the stuff. And on our AWS side, you can now see all will shutting down, all will removed. The key pair is still available. So we need only do it one time. Thanks for watching. Links are in the description for the Slack channel of Kubernetes, the website of Kubernetes IDO, also the Git repository of Kubernetes. If you like this video, thumb up and share it with your friends, with your colleagues or someone else. And we see you in the next video.